<sighs> ah, yes. A raspberry pie. Sire, may I ask what you are doing? I'm just giving people what they want. Raspberry pie. Okay, first of all, nobody wants to watch you eat pie. Second of all, that's not even a damn pie. Get your desserts straight. Now give the people what they want or I will smite you. Damn, bro, chill. I just wanted some pie. Hey there, my name's Oliver, and today I'm going to be telling you about the Raspberry Pi, why I think you should get one, and what are some of the cool things that you can do with it. What is a Raspberry Pi? Well, in essence, it's a very tiny yet powerful computer. It comes in various shapes and sizes. The most current model is the Raspberry Pi 4B, starting at $35 US dollars, and comes with dual HDMI ports, USB 2 and USB 3 ports, gigabit ethernet, and up to 8 gigabytes of RAM for only $35. Talk about a crazy deal. Another popular model for beginners is the Raspberry Pi Zero W for wireless that you are seeing in this footage. This is an even smaller version of the already small Pi 4 and packs quite the punch and has been used in many different applications requiring inexpensive computers with lots of power. What makes these things so cool? Well, number one is the price. With the Pi Zero being able to be bought sometimes at $10 and the Pi 4 starting at $35 and having the ability to essentially run a desktop computer off of these things, they're quite the steal. To make things even better, you can buy a pre-programmed SD card with the Pi OS already installed on it and never have to use a different computer. Pretty wild. Now, more than likely, you aren't going to be using this for anything that you would do on a normal computer. People mainly use Raspberry Pis for small projects and to learn how to code and program small micro devices. You can download IDEs and work with your favorite coding language or go to the Raspberry Pi website to learn one if you don't know any yet. If you've seen some people making small mobile robots online, it's possible that the brain of these avoidance robots or sorting robots is a Raspberry Pi. There are so many cool projects that you can make, and some other ideas that I came up with are hosting a website on the Raspberry Pi, making a facial recognition door lock with the Pi camera module, which I happen to have purchased and may or may not be planning on doing. Stay tuned for that video. You can make it into an alternative media streaming device for your TV instead of dropping a ton of money on an Amazon Fire Stick or Google Chromecast or even Apple TV. You can just use this tiny Raspberry Pi to run off your desktop and stream your favorite shows. You can make a robot cat like the dog from Boston Tech. You can turn speakers into Bluetooth speakers, a Wi-Fi range extender. The possibilities are endless. I'll link some cool articles and videos in the description for you to explore some more. Now, why do I think you should bother getting one of these? Well, if you're interested in computers, engineering, and robotics, I think that there's no better place to start to get an idea of how these things work. You can attach different modules using the GPIO pins, general purpose input output, or your camera module. There are tons of additional things that you can add to the Raspberry Pi to expand its modularity, just like a desktop computer. But you can get down to the bare bones and create circuits on this thing to do complex tasks. So if you're interested in being an engineering student or you're a current engineering student, and you've only been going to your classes and haven't got your hands dirty in this type of thing yet, I think you should go and get one of these yourself. Links in the description on the best places to buy. The Raspberry Pi has an ARM CPU, which is different from what you would normally find on a desktop or a laptop. Learning about the different processor architectures is going to be very helpful in later studies. I know this video is kind of a PSA for the Raspberry Pi, but I genuinely just think that this is a super cool product. Make sure to stay tuned for my next two videos where I'll walk through how to get started with the Raspberry Pi, what you'll need as the bare minimum, and then building a website and turning my Raspberry Pi into a live server to host the website. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on the video and I'll see you soon.